Okay, so converting um, fractions, decimals, and percentages. So that term consolidating just means we're just going over what we did last year. All right? So now, percent, this is just saying basically where it came from, okay, is out of 100, okay? So whenever you see this, like, line, just think that sign just means out of 100. That's the one, that's the two zeros. Okay, um, where we deal with that is discounts, interest rates, something that you'll be looking at later on a bit more, especially interest rates as well. Um, but at a year eight level, uh, more like discounts and um, converting it to decimals and fractions. Okay, so um, we're just going to go over these key ideas basically is how to convert it, a percentage to a fraction. Okay, 35 over 100, 35%, and then how do you then, what do we call this, Jackson, when we've gone from 35 over 100 to 7 over 20? What did they do there? Divide. Yeah, and essentially overall, it starts with letter S. Simplify. Simplify, well done, Jackson. Okay, and then that's how you change this percentage to a actual decimal. Okay, and then how do you do that to make that per, uh, fraction to a percentage? So that's all we're gonna be dealing with now in, the, in this particular topic. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna put up a few questions, okay? So, I look at a piece of paper. yeah, actually that sounds like a good idea. Okay, so, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over this part, which is fraction to a percentage, okay? So say for example, you got 50 out of 100, right? What is that as a percentage, Shaylee? 50 out of 100. Yeah. How would you say that as a percentage? Okay, but as a percentage. How do you say that? So if I say I got 50 out of 100, I got 30 out of 60, I got 20 out of 40, I got five out of 10. How do you say that was a 50%? Yeah, well done. So how do you change a fraction to a percentage? What do you do? You have to multiply by a hundred. Okay, you're right. It's really important. Fraction to a percentage, the key thing here, multiply by 100. Okay, cool, let's have a go. These two cancel out, these two cancel out. Why? Because it's actually top and bottom. Remember that in fractions? We can cancel top and bottom. What are we left with now? 50. What units am I missing here, Angelina? What do I have to put next to it? Uh, percentage. percentage, correct. Okay, let's have we got another question. If I said 35 over 100, okay, converting fraction to a percentage, what do I do here, Ekam? What do we have to do to convert it to a percentage? What do we have to do? What's that one step we have to do? Correct, we multiply all the time by 100. Okay, cool. Then what I can do is I can just cancel these two. What am I left with? 35%. Let's go with a different question. If I said two out of five, okay? Blake, what am I gonna do here? How do I change this fraction to a percentage? You have to make it 100. Yeah, make, make it 100. 100. Multiply by 100, well done. Well done, Blake. Now, how am I going to do this? There's two different ways to approach this question. What's one way, Jasmine, you can approach this question? Um, uh, times, I don't know, 2 by 100 and... 2 by 100? Okay, let's go with that. 2 times 100 divided by 5? Yeah. Yep. What's that equal to? 200 over 5. five. Okay, if we simplify that, what is that equal to now, Angelina? 200 over 5. Yeah, ten. not 10, okay? How I would go about it is, what's five into 20? Four. Yeah. Four. Do you see that extra zero? 40%, yeah. that's the quickest way to go about it. Five into 20, which is four, then you see that extra zero, that's gonna be 40%. This is the other way to go about that question. What is 100 divided by five? What's five and 100, what do they have in common? Jackson. 
What does five and a hundred have in common? Mm. What's a common factor? They can both divide by a number. Five and a hundred. Five? Yeah, well done. Five divided by five is one. Hundred divided by five is twenty. Okay? Now, 20 times 2 is going to be what? 40%. Okay? So, there's two ways to go about it. You want to find the most efficient way, which is the fastest and the most safest method. Okay? I'm going to put up three questions on here. Okay? And I want you to have a go at these three questions. Okay? So, three-fifths to a percentage. Question number two is going to be one quarter to a percentage and then the third question is going to be five eighths to a percentage okay so i'm going to give you about three minutes and you need to show you're working out for these questions so what is the working out echo that i'm asking for for these questions yeah so you need to show this this is your working out that's your working out this is a must need that's your working out that's your working out okay i'm going to give you about three minutes to have a go at those questions okay so what do you have to do you to show your working out so you can multiply by 100 yeah uh, for the last one yeah at the very end wait how do you get like the 40 percent in that okay so what i do was uh we said what uh, jackson said was find the common factor between top and bottom yeah. So we cross multiply 5 and 100. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So 20 times 2. And remember, you can only cross simplify when it's top and bottom. Yeah. You can't do bottom and bottom. You can't do top and top. Okay, like how to go, yeah? Yeah. Could you also like get the top common factor without doing the cross multiplication? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you've got about less than a minute and a half to go, and then we're going to change percentages to a fraction. Okay, guys, the quicker we get through this, the quicker you can then have your break. Okay, remember, fraction to a percentage. Percentage, what's in the percentage sign? That sign, the line and the two zeros, which means what? A hundred. What do you do with that? You multiply by 100. That's how you can imagine it. Find a way to remember it. Really crucial. Okay. So I'm going to give you about less than 30 seconds and then we're going to move through these questions. Okay, so three fifths to our percentage. Okay, what do we do, Blake? To convert this fraction to a percentage? Uh, times by 100. Times by 100 all the time. Can I do 300 divided by 5? I yes. could do that. What's the other way? Yes, Jackson. You could like make the other one a fraction so you put a line and then, no, yep. over 100. Like this? Yeah, yeah. over 1, sorry. Yeah. yeah. And then you can cross simplify. What's 5 into 100? Uh, 20. Yeah, because 5 divided by 5 is 1. 100 divided by 5 is 20. This is so much quicker. If you can do that in your head, which is 100 divided by 5, and you know that's 20, now you should know that. 10 divided by 5, what's that? 2. 100 divided by 5 is 20. Just put that 0 at the end. Now you're left with 3 times 20. So much more easier to do. That's 
Now let's do a quarter. How do you change one quarter to a hundred, Shaylee? Sorry, to a percentage? What do you do? Correct. Times by a hundred. What does that equal to? A hundred over? Four. Four. Can you simplify that, Adelina? What's that equal to? 25. 25. Okay? So this is literally quick math. Okay? 100 divided by 4, it's good to just know what that is. Okay? If you know that already, great. If you don't, this is the way to figure it out. 100 divided by 4. 2, 2 remainder is going to be 5. That's the way to figure it out if you don't know it. 5 eighths into a percentage, I times it by 100. Great, I can do 500 over eight, right? That's one way to do it. What's another way to do it? I can both divide by four. So I can divide this side by four, which is two. Divide this by four, which is? 25. 25, yeah. 25 times five, what's that equal to? 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. That's 125 over 2. What's that as a number, Blake? 125 divided by 2. 60. Yeah, good, good try. 60. 62.5. Yeah. Well done. That was all in your head. Good stuff, Blake. So it's about 62.5%. That's what that is a percentage. So that literally ends that uh, fraction to a